there, I'm Jenny. And I'm Drea. And welcome back to the, wait a minute, I know it's been a while, but CEO of Drea Delivers, what's that? Well, it's my new company. Drea Delivers is a delivery service that kind of acts like a ride sharing model. The only thing is that we're getting ready to launch in a week and I have to train new folks quickly and efficiently, but we're also based in different locations. That sounds like a job for the Transformation Gallery. Let's check it out. So in a previous episode, we used the Transformation Gallery to help Jimmy automate his time off process. But this time, we're going to use it to create a centralized training resource. A, a hub, if you will. Let me just search the Transformation Gallery for inspiration. I'll type in Training Hub, and here, this card looks perfect. First, I'll use Google Drive to gather any resources I might want to integrate into my training. Let's see. I've got an employee handbook a video talking about proper customer relations, and a checklist of onboarding tasks for my new employees to accomplish. Then I'll use Google Sites to create a website that can act as a one-stop training portal for all my employees, no matter their location. Here's a link to a tutorial on setting up and personalizing your site. Finally, I'll embed my files into my website to create a self-service training portal, and I'll share the link with all of my new team members. Now they can access the website anytime, from anywhere, on any device. And since those files are embedded from Drive files, they'll get updates in real time. So videos and handbooks are fine, but in my experience, it can be easier to learn from a real person, especially if that real person incentivizes with candy. <laughs> well, I don't have any candy, but live training sessions are no problem. Using Google Hangouts, I can conduct virtual classes with employees and I can use Google Calendar to embed a schedule of those classes directly on the training site. Employees can add themselves to training events I put on the calendar, and the event will have a link to the Hangout as well as any relevant attachments. So now our drivers can train using videos, documents, presentations, even virtual classes, whatever works best for them. But how are you gonna know if they actually learned what they need to know for the job? That's a good point. So I think I can make a quiz with Google Forms to help with that. First, I go to Google Forms, and from the list of templates, I select Blank Quiz. Now I can write questions and answers, assign points to questions, add explanations to answers, and receive summaries of the results. Once my quiz on driver safety is ready, I can either embed it directly into my training hub or email the form to participants after a Hangout training. You know, you can also use Google Forms to collect feedback from your drivers so they can tell you how they really feel about the training material. Not that they have anything negative to say, of course. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I can also use the file upload feature in Google Forms so that drivers can add any important documents like their driver's license or even their insurance card. File upload now appears in Google Forms right alongside other question options. I just add a new question, type in, for example, upload driver's license and select file upload from the list. I can even add parameters like file size and type. When a new employee submits the form, the uploaded file will be added to my drive automatically. And you're on the enterprise plan, right? Yeah, of course. It's worth noting that Drive on the enterprise plan now features advanced data loss prevention and image recognition with rules that are simple to set up and customize so site administrators can easily secure sensitive data, enforce policies, and control how confidential information is shared. And that extra functionality is gonna be great for your business, Drea. That's true. So the Transformation Gallery was super helpful in terms of setting up a new training hub. But it's also a two-way street. So any new business processes or strategies I come up with using G Suite tools, I can easily share those as well. Oh wait, hey, looks like I got a new service delivery request. I'll send my driver, Jenny, on the job? I'm looking for any excuse to use my new car. But besides that, if you have any ideas on how to use G Suite tools for your business, join us at Google Cloud Next this March. You can register here. Until next time. We work with Googlers and customers across the globe, and trying to find a meeting time can be a tricky process, especially when folks are on the road. But with the Find a Time feature in Google Calendar, it handles all of the details for us. <laughs>